My name is Tim Sutinen from PrivacyProShop.com. Privacy means not drawing attention to yourself. In other words, flying under the radar, hiding in a crowd, or hiding in plain sight. Whatever the cliché, you get the idea. Trying to avoid rising red flags in others by our behavior when you strive for anonymity. When it comes to your internet connection, that typically means not using a VPN. That goes against the advertising messages coming from VPN companies and their paid spokesmen. But, don't get me wrong, I'm not anti-VPN. Not at all. VPNs have their place. Like when you're buying cryptocurrencies from an overseas exchange that blocks customers that are located in your country. Or when you're trying to access content that is not available in your geographic location, be that for commercial reasons or due to governmental censorship, or using torrents or something else that could get your internet connection shut off due to anti-piracy laws. Also, sometimes you might need to do something sensitive where your real IP address that is tied to your real identity must not leak out. A VPN is pretty good for the first three situations. In the last case, where your IP address must not be known by anyone, I'd recommend using either Tor or LokiNet as they also hide your IP address from the exit node operator. But why shouldn't the average Joe use a VPN all the time? The quick answer is that it'll only make your life unnecessarily difficult. This video is brought to you by PrivacyProShop.com, where you can find Nemo Mail, the anonymous email service over the onion routed LokiNet, and high performance LokiNet exit nodes that hide your IP address from both the sites you visit and from the exit node service provider. That's correct. We won't have any idea what your true IP address is. That's the power of LokiNet. You don't have to trust anyone's promises. Pay anonymously with the most common cryptocurrencies like Monero and Bitcoin. We also accept credit cards. Here are the top five reasons for not using a VPN. Number one, you will end up being blocked from some websites. Some website operators block access to IP addresses that are known to be VPN addresses or data center addresses. At one point, I ran my own private VPN server and I was unable to access my bank's website, most likely because the address was in a data center and the bank's fraud detection systems have figured out that their customers don't live in data centers. IP address type and location information is publicly available. Check out ipinfo.io for details on any IP address. This information is also used by some streaming providers, so you might not be able to access that geo-restricted content that you got the VPN for. Number two, you will end up having to complete endless CAPTCHA verifications. You know those letters and numbers that are really hard to decipher, or those find all the motorcycles, buses, bridges, or crosswalks in this image that pop up when you're trying to access certain sites. If you use a VPN for everything, those verifications will be the bane of your existence. Many website operators have figured out that data center IP addresses have more robots than humans living in them. Number three, your internet service provider sees that all of your traffic goes to a single data center IP address, which tells them that you use a VPN. The ISP might collaborate with the authorities and refer you to them as someone who is always using a VPN and they might put you on some kind of watch list. You don't want to be on a watch list. Number four, your speed will be reduced and latency increased as the signal is bounced through another server before it reaches your endpoint. If you have a shiny new gigabit internet link, why would you want to slow it down by piping everything through a VPN? If you have a slow internet connection, a VPN will make that even slower. And if you are stuck on a cellular service with limited amount of data, a VPN will increase your data usage as all traffic will be repackaged in encrypted packets. But isn't it good to have the security of encryption? Yes, but 
pretty much everything you do on the internet is already encrypted. So double encrypting it with a VPN is unnecessary. The one exception to that encryption is DNS, but more on that later. Number five, many VPN providers are owned by big companies that own multiple VPN companies and governments regularly issue warrants to those companies, forcing them into giving out information about their users. That information would be your IP addresses, your billing and payment information, connection times, traffic logs, etc. All VPN companies claim that they don't keep logs, which might be true, but a warrant will compel them to log and not tell you about it. If you always use a VPN, that VPN company will know every place on the internet that you go to. Using a VPN for sensitive traffic requires trust in the VPN provider. So, if an always-on VPN is not a good idea, then is there something that everyone should always do for their privacy? Yes, there is. And that is using an encrypted DNS server. By default, the DNS server your router assigns to your devices via DHCP is your ISP standard unencrypted DNS, which allows the ISP to easily see every place you visit on the internet. You should change that to DNS over HTTPS or DNS over TLS, if your operating system or device allows it. But even just changing the unencrypted DNS to a different public unencrypted DNS server makes the ISPs snooping a lot more difficult as they'd have to sniff packets instead of just reading DNS server logs. Since 2020, Firefox's default setting for users in the United States has been to use DNS over HTTPS using Cloudflare DNS servers. If you wish to improve privacy even further, set your browsers and operating system to use different encrypted DNS servers. For instance, set Chromium web browser to use NextDNS, set Firefox to use Cloudflare, Brave browser to use Quad9, and your operating system DNS to use Malvad's DNS server. I'll have the addresses of each of them listed in the description below. Now, with your DNS situation fixed, your ISP no longer has much of an idea as to what you do on the internet, and you don't have to stick out like a sore thumb. That's all she wrote. What do you think? Chime in in the comments below, or send me a message on Session Messenger, the most private and anonymous messaging system on the planet. My session username is Privacy Pro Shop. If you're interested in digital privacy, cryptocurrencies, Session Messenger and LokiNet, and other open source software, please check out some of the other videos on this channel. And as always, have a happy day.